So the next step is to bind the receiver. Uh, the first thing you need to do is get the latest firmware of the uh, receiver. In this case, I'm using a Rec7 receiver. I updated to the latest uh, version 1.03 uh, firmware. Uh, so that's the first thing. Then uh, you just get it in the correct model, like, like the Spirit Rocks that we're using here. Uh, I just uh, connect uh, power to the receiver. And it says the receiver is bound. If the receiver is not yet bound, it'll give you the option to to yes bind or not bind the receiver, just put the yes and, 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 and that's fine. Then the next thing is we want to set up the, the receiver so that it, it'll integrate with the, uh, with the spirit, okay? So um, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, go under uh, models, device explorer, we will see the Rec7, so we go under, uh, click on that. Uh, the uh, under general settings, you just just leave that alone. There's really uh, nothing to do there except for if you want to change the low voltage alarm. I I, I just tend to leave it at the 4.5, but you can change that, of course. Um, then the uh, fail safe that that's another topic for uh, alternative pin configuration. This is important. Uh, you leave everything from output pin 1 to, uh, to 5, leave it as servo. For output pin, uh, say, uh, uh, I guess, uh, 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 6 and 7, so E1 and E2, we're, we need to make sure that it is an XBOS. If you want to uh, use XBOS compatible devices like the uh, Spirit unit, which is an XBOS, or uh like Mikado uh, I'm not sorry Mikado um uh Contronic tell me or some other units that use Xbox just make sure you have it an Xbox okay and, and and we're all set with that and uh receiver outputs this is really nothing um you really need to do with that unless you are assigning functions to the actual uh outputs uh, here okay and and that's it for the receiver part.